one's going to be to Canada. We're going to be going to the Georgian Bay, which is uh, on the edge of uh, Lake Huron, uh, Canadian side. And uh, we're going to be going to Tobermory, which is like a peninsula that separates uh, Lake Huron from the Georgian Bay. So we're going to go up there for a few days, uh, take a ride. There's uh, just the four of us that will be going, and I'll introduce you to them a little bit later. We got the group together. Uh, we're at the crossing. We're going to take the ferry over to Canada. And uh, yeah, this one here is out of Algonac. And uh, we've got uh, our people that are with us. We got the ladies are here. I'm going to introduce you to the ladies. So uh, we got Carolyn over here. Hi. <laughs> and Bob's over there. And we got Brenda over here. And uh, yeah, and we're waiting for the ferry to come across. As you can see here, we got four Indians. We've got two chiefs. They look the same. The ladies have, they have them set up a little bit different from each other. And different uh, slip-ons. So they sound a little bit different. And then we have the two uh, road masters. Well, we're down at the uh, area where the ferry comes in. This is kind of neat. We uh, got a boardwalk down here. Boardwalk down here. Yeah, Algonac's a neat place. Uh, do we see the ferry? So Canada is right over there. First stop, uh, we're in uh, Sarnia, Canada, and in Canada, there's uh, Tim Hortons just about every other mile. So we stopped, a little breakfast, and back on the road. And in a little bit, we're going to be getting along the coast of uh, Lake Huron on the east side, going north. So back on the road. Well, we're at stop number two. This is. Uh, Grand Bend. It's a it's a cool beach town. I'll uh, turn the camera on when I'm riding through town. I should have done that as we are coming down to the beach. Right out there is ah, looks like surfing waves. Well, what do you think so far? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. It is.
Oh, really? Well, I wasn't a far ride. Huh? No, I think. Oh, I from think way back? I think Starbucks. <laughs> no. Yeah. to Harbor Beach. This is uh, where we're gonna stay our first night. What a nice place. Little town. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. Got our bikes parked right out in front, which works out perfect. Hopefully I can talk over this music so I don't get uh, a strike, but I'll probably get a, a strike against it. You just walk through the lobby, they do their breakfast here. And then uh, out here, they've got campfires, which is kind of cool. And our rooms over here have uh, hammocks on them. We're up on the second floor, which is pretty cool. Over here, they have a pool. And it's uh, 80 degrees, the water is, which is pretty cool. And uh, here, I know this guy. There he is. We got your goodies. Yeah. Got your goodies. Ready for uh, the campfire? Yes. All right. Well, we made it down to the fire pits, and uh, uh, this uh, this guy who works here is just—he's uh, a treat. He's really a great guy. You got the fire pits all set up here, and we're the only ones hanging out down here, which is really nice. I think we're gonna walk into town and down by the lake in just a bit. Well, we're on our second day, taking a walk down to uh, the beach. This is uh, Sabo Beach. I don't know if you can see that sign right there. What do you think of the place we stayed at, Brenda? Pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Yeah. Like you said, uh, it'd be nice if we could have stayed there all three days. Yeah, I've been not really happy about leaving. Yeah, That's yeah. How nice it is. Definitely <laughs> worth. Trying to get uh, tattoo or piercing, honey? Definitely worth coming back to. Piercing. We're gonna be riding to uh, Tobermory here today, but it's only uh, an hour and a half ride away, so not mm, too bad. So pretty. Yeah, very pretty. Sapo Beach. Peninsula. Georgian Bay is out there. You can't see it. It's right over here. 
and yeah just over my shoulder and that's where the ferries come in and uh, we're staying at this place right here it's right next to the ferries got our bikes right there Bob right there yeah and uh, now we got to find a place to eat so it was a great ride here I don't know if you can see it can you see that over there I don't know that's the inlet that comes in where all the ferries are looking out from the back of our room we're kind of on a little bit of a patio here which is kind of nice and uh, all the ferries for all the different rides uh, going over to Manitou Island which takes you back over to the mainland is uh, also down here so this is just a continuation of the hotel and yeah pretty cool oh, some transient slips over there this would be a neat place to uh, bring your boat to nice destination this water is absolutely crystal clear and it's probably colder than heck too Oh, that way. Oh, this is a good seat up here. Yeah. Got our tickets. And they have hamburgers. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, that fish and chips does smell good, though. Well, we can still go there. It's right there. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, no. We, we got we to gotta eat because the boat leaves in a very short period of time. Oh, we're doing it today? <laughs> I knew it. I thought it was tomorrow. I thought it was tomorrow, too. I did. Because um, the lady at the hotel said that tomorrow it will be packed. Yeah, it's one. It's only one thirty. We gotta be there at two thirty. Okay. It just feels. We like have an hour. This is cool. So this is a glass bottom boat, but I thought it had one big window. But it's got. Uh, a whole bunch of them. You see the bottom one? It's not very deep here. It's not deep at all. Okay. So we're going to go to, where are we going? We're going to the Flower Pot Island. Island. I wonder why they call it that. Is I, think, there... I think when you look why? at it, it'll be pretty obvious. The rocks are real tall and there's flowers that grow on top of them. So they look Okay, let's go walk out front. <laughs> All right, do not lift children above the railing. Okay, they won't do that. But I can walk out here. Oh, this is kind of cool. All right. Rain is on its way. It's uh, right over there. But I don't see it. But according to the radar, it looks like it's imminent within minutes. So we're gonna be inside for now. Oh, that's nice. So we're staying right there at that uh, hotel motel right there. So this is really convenient. Okay, so this is sunken, looks like a wooden boat right over here under the kayak. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's we're going over one right here. Yeah. No, that's, wow, that's pretty cool. I wonder how deep this is.
guess this little formation with some stuff on the top and there's another one with some stuff on the top. Oh, that's a flower pot. Oh, okay. okay, this is over here. I'm, I'm just trying to describe it, you know? It's like, yeah. I, I kept well, telling you. Well, you guys got to tell me. I did. Oh, okay. A million times. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, okay. Well, I thought he was talking about this stuff. I know, baby. Okay, I know. so it's this thing? Yeah, it's that. Okay. Okay, now. That looks like a long walk to get there. Okay, if it's from those right houses. <laughs> Let's talk about it. how far it is. <laughs> Remember, my ba back is bad. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, oh, there's more than one. So, so it's flower pots, plural. Got it. That's a pretty cool island. From time to time when you're on a motorcycle trip, it rains. It rained last night. That's great. During the day, eh, not so great. But it is supposed to rain today. So we're not going to be riding. We're going to be hiking around and checking out some of the sites up here in Tobermory. So let's jump into that, but first, coffee, breakfast. Got to do that first. How's the water temp? <laughs> it's not too cold. Oh, you probably have to come up here. All right, this is a different ferry company. Pretty cool looking boat. They'll probably yell at us now for being down here, but that's okay. We, the men, Losing in Euchre? are cheating like crazy to hold our necks above water against these vicious, <laughs> vicious players. <laughs> but they're not kicking our butt yet. Three not to three. Yet. <laughs> well, we're all packed up and uh, we're getting ready to leave Tover Mori. Um, yep, Bob's uh, getting his cover put away. We just got ours put away. I had to strap it down last night, it's kind of windy, but uh, yeah, if you know how to pack your motorcycle for traveling, you can pack up, get on the road in a very short period of time. It's a little bit of a uh, educational thing, you know, you got to teach yourself what you need to pack and, and uh, what you don't need and that kind of a thing. And If you figure it all out, it's pretty darn easy. So we have uh, 250, 260 miles to ride home. And uh, I think that's gonna do it for this ride. Until next time.